In this video we are going to learn about the nth term of an arithmetic progression or AP as we call it. Okay. Now we learned something in the previous video about arithmetic progression. In an arithmetic progression the first term is A. Right. The second term written as let's say for example A1 is denoted as A plus D which is nothing but the first term and to that we add the common difference. By the very definition of arithmetic progression the third term has to be A2 and because the difference between these two has to be again D which is what we saw over here A2 can be written as A1 plus D. Right? But we saw that A1 itself is written as A plus D. So in other words, A2 can be written as A plus D plus D or A plus 2D. Continuing in this manner, if I look at the fourth term, it can be written as A3, which is what? The last term, the preceding term, A2 plus D. But again, A2 can be written as what? it can be written as a plus 2d okay so if I replace this a2 with a plus 2d I get a plus 2d plus d which is a plus 3d now if you look at it from this perspective what you will notice is that the number of terms so if this was the fourth term this is basically a plus 3 times d or in other words this 3 is what this 3 is 4 minus 1 where 4 is the number of term. Similarly if you see third term it is written as a plus 2d. What is 2? 2 is 3 minus 1. So generally we say that for the nth term okay let's say in this case we take an example of fourth term this can be written as the first term okay plus whatever is the number that minus 1 so for nth term it could be defined as n minus 1 so let's say for fourth it was 3d for third it was 2d for 2 it was 1d times d let's say in case of fourth term we had written this as a plus 4 minus 1d which is nothing plus a plus 3d right something that we saw over here so generally whenever you are required to find out the nth term of an arithmetic progression but you are given the first term and the common difference you can easily find out the nth term. Let's take an example. So I tell you that you have a geometric progression oh sorry an arithmetic progression which goes as under 5, 17, 29, 41 and so on. If I tell you to find out the seventh term of this arithmetic progression, okay, so n over here is 7 and we know that nth term can be found out by a plus n minus 1 times d, right? Now in this case a is the first term, so if you look at this arithmetic progression the first term is 5 which is the term which we want to find out? We want to find out the seventh term. So 7 minus 1 times d. So what is diff d? d can be found out by subtracting any term of an arithmetic progression from. So let's say if we have to subtract a1 from the next term. So a2. So in this case 17 minus 5 is equal to 12. Right? 6 minus 7 minus 1 6 times 12 72 plus 5 77 should we try this out now we know the difference is 12 so after 51 we will have 41 we will have 53 then we have 65 because we add 12 here again we add 12 we get 77 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this happens to be the seventh term which is what we were trying to find out so by using this formula we have been able to quickly find out the nth term of an arithmetic progression.